Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can access search query analytics in SharePoint Online. This is a really cool and useful feature, and uh, let me explain to you why. So first of all, what am I, am I talking about here? So um, here's the deal. Let's just say your users execute all sorts of different searches in their SharePoint environment, right? Maybe I'm uh, looking for uh, some employee handbook. Maybe I'm looking for uh, some budget documents, you know, whatever it is, right? I get the different results based on uh, my keyboard searches. Uh, now, um, if I'm, let's say, an admin, all right, IT admin, uh, I probably want to see what my users are searching for, uh, you know, most frequently. Maybe I will want to promote and, uh, you know, let's say my users are searching for company holiday schedule or employee handbook. I might want uh, maybe to put it uh, front and center on my internet or something, all right, so it's accessible by everyone. So here's how you uh, access the analytics. Uh, you obviously need to be an admin, all right? If you are just a site uh, member or site owner, it doesn't work. You have to be the admin. Uh, so I'm going to go to the Microsoft uh, 365 uh, Admin Center. And under Show All, it displays all the admin centers, but we have to go under All Admin Centers and then Search and Intelligence, all right? And um, if you click on, there are different tabs here. If you click on Insights, uh, on this screen, it just kind of gives you, kind of gives you, um, I guess, a summary of various, uh, various, um, uh, you know, queries and everything, essentially of different sections. But you know what? We do want to analyze the query analytics, all right? So we're going to, you can click on all those different tabs and just kind of see uh, statistics and everything here. But uh, again, we are interested in specifically in query analytics. And uh, what it displays, it displays, I mean, first of all, you can filter by different ranges, all right, uh, different dates and, and, and so on. Uh, but what it displays over here are the most popular search terms, all right? So most of my users, you, you know, essentially search for these keywords over here, all right? And uh, it actually shows, you know, the top queries and, you know, where they clicked uh, when they, you know, um, when they did this query. All right. Uh, it shows the click through rate and then a uh, top 10 results. Um, so essentially, uh, these are the queries when there were no uh, results maybe turned up that turned up for the users. All right. Uh, and so on, uh, all right, and so on, all right. Uh, now, why is this important? Why is this important? So um, on the most popular search terms, you can see what users are searching in your SharePoint most of the time. And for example, if I see that, oh, you know, they search for this password, how to change the password, for example, or handbook or holiday schedule, right? I can see that a lot of users are searching for that. What you can do after that, and I actually recorded, uh, you know, videos on those topics already, you can promote certain results and display them uh, on top of the other results. So I actually, again, recorded on, uh, you know, separate videos on those, but just to show you what I'm talking about, you can actually then, let's say uh, there is a particular uh, document you want to promote or a particular search result like company uh, schedule or, um, you know, or employee handbook or budget document. You can utilize either bookmarks feature or Q&A feature, all right, just like, here, just like I did here. So again, let's just say the top query was the employee handbook uh, or uh, maybe it was a company, you know, holiday schedule, all right? Uh, once you create those bookmarks or Q&A, you know, questions and answers, uh, let me show you what, uh, what it does. So if I type in holiday, for example, look at this, it will promote one of those bookmarks that I did uh, that I have set up in uh, Search and Intelligence Center. So uh, if, uh, if I see a lot of people querying for a particular topic, uh, again, I can make it available on my intranet, but also I can actually promote the result uh, within, you know, within the search page. So it's on top of the other results or, you know, uh, how to change password, right? Uh, I have no idea. I'm just typing this in. Uh, again, I promoted that result because I noticed this was a top query and I decided to actually provide some instructions for my users, right? On how to change their password. So, 
Uh, this is it pretty much. Uh, in my opinion, extremely you know powerful uh, tool. Just remember, you need admin access um, and uh, you need to get into the search and intelligence admin center and click on the insights and then query analytics. And this is where you will get to see, uh, we'll get to see all this uh, different results. All right. All right, so that's uh, all I wanted to uh, demonstrate and show it to you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.